What do you think? I think that we should just keep going because there's nothing coming. Naughty, naughty. It's just building the delicious anticipation of hurtling away. Uh, only we won't be hurtling, yeah? This car was made to hurtle. <laughs> and, um, speaking of anticipation... Yes? <laughs> I was kind of anticipating that you might move back in. I mean, I know that you're enjoying being with Tracy, and I know what I did is put a wedge between us, but... I was just waiting to be asked. Oh, well, this is me asking. And this is me saying I'd love to. Mwah. And this is me saying... Hold on tight. Figures are good, and then you can... Jay, add, add an, we are so understaffed, I'm in a which is why I brought Frank back with me from the pub. Yeah, I'm in a meeting. Probably sounded better in your head. This is Helen, the sales rep from Godley's. Oh, very nice to meet you. And you, Mr. Sean. Oh. Rishi, please. Okay, uh, sorry about this little interruption. Uh, why should we give you a job? I'm a self-starter, quick learner. Born salesman. Oh, people person. I mean, uh, I know pretty much everyone who works here. <sighs> Look, I just need a job. And any old job will do, right? Boss, sorry to interrupt. Uh, we're way behind out there, so I'm thinking you might need to dish out a bit more by time. OK. Uh, oh, in the meantime, uh, can you show our new recruits here the production line? Show them the ropes. Should help ease the pressure. Seriously? Production line? Job's yours if you want it. Well, I thought with Priya gone, it... And you've been needing one of these. It seems to me that anybody can throw paint on a canvas and charge a fortune. Exactly. Mm. Uh, we'll get them in. Mm. I have to admit, you are tempted. Two pints, two red, please. Yeah, come with you in a sec. I don't have to admit to anything. <laughs> Guy, can you honestly tell me that you've stayed on the straight and narrow since you got out? By and large? That's not a yes. Now, you can tell me that you've settled into the quiet life, but I know that that's not true. It's not you, Frank. All right, I'll admit, I like the old game. Always have. And yeah, I even miss it. But there's the prospect of prison. And let's remember, we're defrauding someone whose only crime is being rich and a little bit dim. Eleanor Carlo can afford it. I mean, seriously afford it. Ball bearings in space, remember? And meanwhile, Megan is working her fingers to the bone and you're up at that factory. It's hardly justice, is it? Yeah, I know. You know, you could help Megan and Tracy too. And yes, of course, it's a risk. But that's, in the end, that's why we're doing this, isn't it? The risk. The adrenaline that comes out of it, you could do the con that we've always dreamed about. <laughs> You'd be a hell of a lot richer afterwards. Unless, of course, you want to stay in there, that hand net for the rest of your working life. <laughs> All right. I'm in. Any minute now. That workforce will be hammering down that door demanding a lunch break. And it won't get in the way of Nicola when she wants a cream horn. Tell him to talk and I'll move. Hi. Or maybe we won't have to. Sorry I'm late. You lousy lying idiot. What? Cheating on Megan. And don't say you didn't because she heard you. Telling some woman they put the spark back in your life. Ugh, I was talking to him. That wasn't what I was expecting. I can explain. I'm your son. You can tell me anything. I love you. I'm not gay. Um, can we get back to my dad, please? Wait a minute. Megan seriously thinks I cheated on her again? I'd never do that. Then where have you been all day? I'm getting the feeling this has all gone very, very wrong. Careful, Frank. It's meant to be worth thousands, this. Well, wasn't that the point of using Megan's car with the bigger boot? No, wait. It's all right. I managed. Ah, heavy-handed, brute force, just your style. 
Hi, my lucky charm. You gonna wave us off? No. I'm the getaway driver. Uh, no. Eleanor's already met you. It's far too risky. So? I'm not backing out of the best bit. Anyway, I can do low profile. I can't have anyone mess this up. I'm only doing this to save Megan's livelihood, remember? All right, calm down, Frank. Anyone think you were too old for this game? Hey. And I get stick for being monosyllabic. Actually, it's Megan. Oh, um, listen, I'm running late for an appointment. I found a pregnancy test in her bag earlier. Then I guess I should congratulate you. Oh, unfortunately not. I, um... I had the pipes disconnected years ago. Ah, uh, yes, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> So what now? I guess I um, need to get my head together. Hmm. Think things through. Oh, this is risky. It's my tash straight. Of course. Straight's your middle name, isn't it? Or is it boring? Look, you need to shut the. Wow. Oh, wow. I mean. Hello. As promised, Eleanor. Peter Chastain. Pleasure to meet Miss. Carlo. Eleanor Carlo. Please come in. So exciting. Impressive collection. Oh, I'm quite hopeless. Daphne, my shih tzu, was eating out of a rare Clarice Cliff bowl for months. Dealer called by. Turns out it's worth an absolute mint. All that is not. Stick with the job. Drinks? Oh, uh, well, unfortunately, I've a long journey ahead. But we at least have to get a champagne selfie together in front of this masterpiece. Ah, oh, uh, Peter only prefers to photograph with his mind. Absolutely. The rare and enigmatic Peter Chastain. <laughs> oh, my hand slipped. It'll be rude not to now. Well, um, maybe just, uh, you know, a small glass. While you tell me all about yourself. You and your precious plan, so sure you've covered every angle. He'll come on his own, he says. He loves a drink, he says. Well, it seems like I had some bad information. Seems like I've blackmailed an idiot. Well, we should have got out of there the moment we managed to swap the diamonds, but no, you had to go and get greedy. Well, sorry, but one diamond was never going to cut it, was it? Especially when we had a case full right under our noses. You managed to switch them? Of course I managed to switch them. I lifted a couple of fakes from your pocket. So do you know what? Good job one of us is on the board. Oh, you have such a high opinion of yourself. Yes, I do. You really are a piece of work. Oh, wow, I'm blushing now. Yeah, like you'd even know how. Oh, really? Try me. Leave it. Whatever spin you've thought up, please do not insult my intelligence. Nothing changes what you did. Actually, this is more to thank you. You could have told Vanessa what I'd done, but you didn't. How you choose to lie to your family is of no concern to me anymore. I know you don't believe me, but... I truly am sorry. Things got a little out of control. Out of control? How many times have you sworn that you wouldn't lie to me again? I let myself be seduced by the idea of giving us the life we deserve. To save this place. So you did this for us, did you? Very big of you. It would have been nice if you could have told me that you were using my car in the con, but hey, you know, Layla's allowed to be involved in it, but not me. I thought I was protecting you. I don't need protecting. I need honesty. I can't do this again. Oh, don't say that. You and Eliza are my world. And what we've got is too special to just throw away. Don't you think I feel the same? But I can't keep letting you hurt us like this. But just give me a chance to prove how much I love you. Look, I... I promise. Never let you down again. Except you will, won't you? All this talk about love and devotion, it's just words you think that I want to hear. No, no, I mean it. You know, I actually think you do, in your own way. But it's not enough, not anymore. You've got to help me. Dad, what 
What is going on? It's Megan. I think she's set me up. What? She disappears, right? She won't answer a call, so I check the bag, the one she's told me to keep an eye on, and it's stuffed with cash. Yeah. And there's a one-way plane ticket to Spain inside with my name on it. It's weird. That's what I'm telling you. She has set me right up. Right, why would she do that? She loves you. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe she never forgave me for charity. Maybe, maybe this has all been a ruse. Right. You've been watching too much Columbo. Well, she's probably got her own plane ticket in her handbag. Yeah, and the money is probably just holiday money. Who takes this much holiday money? So then, I look out and I see the police walking up the path. So I legged it out the back door. Here I am. <gasps> Wowzers! That's... Brilliant! Her nose, it's like totally. Uh... Thank you. So, um, where's Clive? Oh, Peter, I have a naughty confession to make. Clive's nipped out to get another painting to show Camilla. Come, come. What, what, are, what are the pa painting? And who's this? I was wondering the same about you. But you've met Gay Paris in the 90s? Um... Peter, darling, you will never guess it was just on the phone. And um, did you just walk into my... I am his PA, Adele Cateau. Try me. Brian Bailey, the collector from SLA. Oh, Bri Brian, yes. So he has agreed to pay £200,000 for the picture. So, refund and apologies. Uh, hang on, I had first dip. So, where's Peter Chastain? Here, isn't he? No. Peter's completely bald. Once, maybe, but now it is all bobs and bouffons. Honestly, love, get with it. It was so it's lovely to meet you again. And, and, and oh, keep the sketch. You know, compensation. Mwah. But I, um. Yeah, come on, run, you idiot. The workshop can last for as little as three hours or for as long as four days. You go on that long? In front of other people? Kindred spirits. There are no boundaries. I really don't think it's for us. Megan? What is it? A four-day naked sex workshop. <laughs> Oi! Joe Tate's mini-me. Charity. I think you've just threatened me, haven't you? He's just this second threatened me, everyone. Because I know something that he'd rather I didn't, so now he thinks he can scare me enough to make me keep my gob shut. What's happened? Well, do you know what? That might have worked years ago, but not anymore, because I'm not scared anymore. I'm so over being silenced by bullies, by abusers, by men. So, no, I won't keep your little secret. Charity. But do you know what? If you hadn't sent your enforcer in, I wouldn't have bothered. Please don't do this. Megan has slept with Graham, everyone, behind your back. And yesterday, she was caught with a tongue down his throat again. Come on, everyone. Let's... Toast the happy couple. Cheers. If Charity's in on it, I want to hear it from her own mouth. We'll just go easy, she's a piece of work. Let's go. You should be long gone. What? <laughs> oh, hey! In your own time. I must have called you three times. We've been doing door to door. Have you? Well, this is his car, this is his bag. May as well be on the flipping payroll, eh? I'll never forgive myself for hurting you. Frank, please. And I'll never forgive you for screwing me over, either. Dad, why are you even here? Without traitor. You should be long gone by now. I couldn't leave you. What about the police? They'll arrest you. You'll go to prison. Oh. Frank Clayton. Yes. An allegation of fraud has been made against you. We need you to come down the station and answer a few questions. Yeah, but none of it's true, because these two witches have set him up. Tell them what happened, that you know nothing about the money. Uh, would this be the money we've just retrieved from the passenger seat of your car? Dad, please, just tell them the truth. Are you wanting to make a counter-allegation? Cos we could just take you all in. Yes, and arrest Charity too. Hey, this is nothing to do with me. Dad! Frank Clayton, I'm arresting you on suspicion of fraud. No! You do not have to say anything, say but something. it may harm your defence. If you do not mention when questioned, something you later rely on in court. Dad. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand?
Oh, God, that's so good. Oh, oh yum, my baba. Oh, then I, can't you, I, can't, I can't work out if you, if you hate me or you... I hate me. I could never hate you. This is about me saying sorry. Sorry? For what? I think you know what. I doubt Eric's forgotten. And ever since, you have been running yourself into the ground trying to hold everything together. Hang on. Hang on. Where's this come from? <clears throat> Let me take a stab in the dark. Tracy and Vanessa. They might have had a few words to say, yeah. Loudly and angrily, but I get it. They're worried about you. But I, t I told them I'm fine. But it's not fine. I mean, you're working every hour, God and Jace ends. Then looking after Eliza, you're picking me up, you're, you're shopping, you're cooking. It's too much for anyone. You didn't ask for this, Frank. Neither did you. <laughs> Tracy shouldn't have had to have said anything. I should have seen it myself. No, I... I really don't deserve this. Have you ever thought that maybe, just maybe, I see it as a chance to make up for all the trouble that I've caused you in the past, and no doubt will in the future? Well, then I'll look forward to my massage. What you need to know is... I'm in it for the long haul. So am I. Oh, Frank, shouldn't you be at work? Well, the factory's shut. They've got fire alarm problems. Oh, right, well, in that case, maybe we can have our chat now. I'm dying to know what's been going on. I've just run into a few... Unexpected hiccups. There's nothing I can't work around. Give me half an hour tops. I just need to get something. Then I am all yours. Right. OK, well, I'll wait in here. You do that, and I'll be right back. I love you. Dad. How bad is... <coughs> How bad is the fire? Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I'll get you out of there. <coughs> <laughs> I can't Come on, Frank. You failed at everything else. Okay, listen, my darling. Stand back now. Okay. Give this one more go. Yeah. <coughs> 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 I got you. I got you. I knew you wouldn't give up on me. Never. <laughs> Never. Come on. You've got to get out of here. <laughs> 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 Let's 
gone, sweetheart. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs>